Hey guys, it's me again. Today is June 3rd, 2014. So this is my eighth day on my liquid pre-op diet for gastric bypass and I am still alive. <laughs> um, doing fine, you know. Um, had my uh, protein shake for breakfast, which is really good and it holds me over literally all the way till lunch which is just incredible um, probably the biggest thing that's holding me over that long is the amount of protein I'm having every day which is something that uh, before this I never got enough protein I don't think so I'm doing really well uh, next week today next week today will be my surgery. So probably this time next week I will already have had my surgery and be in recovery. So getting really, really close to my surgery. I had a wonderful talk with a lady today who had gastric bypass about four or five years ago. And she had a couple of other complications. She's older than I am. Um, but she was so encouraging. Um, throughout this whole process, you hear a lot of people who are not not really thrilled with your idea of having surgery um, for one reason or another they don't think it's the best decision or they don't understand your decision and so most of the responses I get to people you know from people when I tell them that I'm having gastric bypass is oh okay well we'll be praying for you you know it's just which is fine and I appreciate the prayers um, but it's not like this joyous Thing. You know, when you tell someone you're pregnant, it's congratulations, we're so excited. You know, that's not the response I've gotten from most people. So anyways, I told this lady that I was having surgery next week and she just about, it was wonderful. Her response to me was so reassuring. She um, was so excited. She was happy for me. She came over and gave me a big hug and said, this is going to be the best decision of your entire life. You're not going to regret this. And like I said, she'd had her surgery four or five years ago. Um, and so she gave me her number and she said, look, you're going to have to call me. And, you know, if you need anything, um, if you just need somebody to talk to, you know, going through the different stages of recovery and learning a new lifestyle. She said, you call me anytime and we'll talk. And, you know, and I just, that was so encouraging. Um, I am really excited and I've got my passport, I've got everything ready, I've been kind of stockpiling things that people, I've heard people tell me that would be good to have or I've just kind of thought, hmm, that might be nice to have. So I've kind of got a pile going already of things that I'm going to pack and I'm hoping, I don't really know how much I'm going to bring, I'm hoping just really to pack extremely light, maybe even just bring a carry-on, if I can fit everything in a carry-on. Um, so... Sorry, that was my cat. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, so I'm thinking I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I'm bringing to Mexico um, to, you know, to have there. Uh, a couple of people have told me to have gas -X, the dissolvable ones, the ones, that, you know, like the little paper ones. After surgery, you're kind of full of gas, so they said that's nice because you can take it. Um... Just a couple of other things. So I think I'll do a video possibly when it's getting closer to time to go and let you guys see what I'm bringing. So anyways, end of day eight. I am still alive and actually not feeling as tired today as I have been on most of the days. So um, apparently it takes my body about eight days to kind of not be angry at me for what I've done so far. So anyways, talk with you all later. Bye.